talk about the difference between sinus rhythm with PICs and sinus arrhythmias. Before I get into this, I have to tell you a funny story about nursing school when it comes to sinus arrhythmias. I was in my first semester of nursing school and we were learning how to do like a basic head to toe assessment on people. And my nursing instructor was checking off my partner on her assessment and they were having to like check my pulse at the same time, check my blood pressure at the same time. And when they were checking my pulse, both of them paused and they're like, um, your heart rate is super irregular. I literally went to a cardiologist after this because I have a history of a VSD. So I was like, oh my gosh, now my heart rate's irregular. Like something's wrong. Turns out I had a sinus arrhythmia. So <laughs> let's talk about it. So a sinus arrhythmia is a normal variation of normal sinus rhythm. And in normal sinus rhythm, you should have equal time between heartbeats. And in a sinus arrhythmia, you're gonna have unequal time between heartbeats. However, you should still have a normal P wave with your QRS even though you see this little pause here, normal P wave with your QRS. Sinus arrhythmias typically correlate with the respiratory system. So when you take a deep breath in, your heart rate kind of speeds up a little bit. And when you take a deep breath out, it slows down. Sinus arrhythmias are definitely more common in kids than adults, but you can see them in adults as well. Me being one of those people that still has a sinus arrhythmia. But it can be kind of tricky to tell if this is a sinus arrhythmia versus a normal sinus rhythm with PAC. So now let's look at this strip. In this strip, you can see a couple PACs. You can see one here, you can see one here. And the difference is, even though you still see these kind of closer intervals and then further intervals, is for a PAC, your P wave is either gonna be gone or look different than your normal sinus P waves. You can see here, there is no P wave because it's a premature atrial contraction. But the key here is to look at your P waves. In your sinus arrhythmia, you should still have normal looking P waves followed by your QRST. And in a PAC, you're gonna be missing that P wave or it's going to be abnormal. Also, patients that have sinus arrhythmias typically have sinus arrhythmias. They don't really go away, whereas PACs, yes, some patients have so many PACs that it's constant, but a lot of times patients can get PACs and then they kind of go away and suddenly you have a normal regular heart rate again. That's another good indication that it's a PAC, not a sinus arrhythmia. I hope that's helpful. Let me know if you have any questions.